you know, with a lot of people that I think that our tech oligarchs are dangerous in a way that, uh, you know, the Koch brothers never were, that Soros never was, mm -hmm. because they're, they're A, these tech oligarchs are beyond the power that they have. That speaks for itself, right? right? You know, but beyond the power that they have, their ability to wield it and the good cruelty and the bad cruelty and kind of the political science is that uh, I feel like they're all nihilistic and that they look at humanity as uh, as a failed business model. And um, they uh, and they also have a bit of Asperger's, right? It's They're on kind of a scale. So they already have kind of this failure of empathy that we never had from Soros. Soros and the Koch brothers were many things, but right. uh, you never got this kind of psychopathic type of quality from them. Just uh, perhaps... Uh, not they not good. I, you know, I'll let other people decide on the goodness of things. But uh, with I, I feel like these tech oligarchs are just so far removed emotionally from the people that they rule over. I mean, these are not the Machiavellis. But but they also seem to hate ordinary people. You know, they're the ones they're striking against. Um, uh, they don't like people with traditional values. Uh, I mean, they ally themselves with the cultural left. It's not that they're, you know, they're, they're somehow aloof from these cultural battles. They do take sides. And I mean, even if I were, I agree with everything you said. They have sort of Asperger symptoms. They uh, they want total power. They don't see the world in a strange way. Uh, but, but why do they ally with Black Lives Matter? Why do they ally with the transgender movement? You know, uh, you know they're, they're interesting strange there. <laughs> So with John Robb, and I remember, you know, I've, I I have a very good memory, and that could be a bad thing because I'm mean, bad things also, right? But I remember, uh, you know, my theory has always been that um, that um, everything is downstream of politics, right? And some people feel that everything is downstream of culture, mm -hmm. and uh, that these mega corps are just trying to accommodate this brute force of culture right now. Uh, mm -hmm. And John Robb feels that that's a very big consideration is that these megacorps are a bit scared of it themselves mm -hmm. and they're just trying to accommodate the brute force of culture. Yeah, and, and the other point that I made before is they sometimes are trying to buy off the cultural left by doing favors for them so they leave them alone. You know, they, uh, we're not going to use gender specific pronouns so we don't have to hire more women. You know, as part of our workforce, or hire more blacks, or something like that. Yeah, and um, we're about to close up. We've been going on. Do you know it's been an hour and forty-five minutes? This was a lot of fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um. So there was there were some good comments that uh, I saw here, and we're going to close up on one of them. There's a, there's a lot here, so we're going to definitely close up on one of them. It might be this one. I'm not sure. So Joe four six three again, a very nice picture on the water. It says, "I hope we survive the four years." We're going to survive in a way, and I'll respond to this first, and maybe it'll be the clergyman, I don't know. We're going to survive. I mean, America is always going to flourish. We've won the world. Us and China have won the world. But when we, in four years, I tell everyone to keep a log. And Paul, the same with you. You got to keep a daily log because all of this is happening faster than the mind can comprehend. That's right. I spend a lot of time every day keeping a log and detailing everything. It, uh, you're going to see the spectacles continue to get larger and larger and larger. You're going to see violence increase because violence has always increased to destabilize social patterns. But I, I think in all, the world, America is going to be fine. It's just going to emerge something different. And then, Paul, my new theory, listen to this, is that we're going to have a, we're going to have a monarchy. <laughs> you mean we're going to be that lucky? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. If, if we're that, do you think we can have a monarchy? Uh, I think that that's somehow far into a sort of American democratic or Republican uh, uh, mentality. Uh, have a mon we, we have had a mo monarchies in a, you know, in, in practice, like the Kennedys or this, they were, they were pretty disgusting monarchies come to think of it, but they, 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 they only lasted a generation <clears throat> and, and didn't go beyond that. But I, I just don't see, I don't see monarchy as being in our future. Unless the changes are more radical than anything I could imagine. I do. And it might be because I'm misreading all of Machiavelli. He's my favorite political scientist. Uh, or I'm misreading just so many of the others. And I probably am because Darren blasted me. But I just feel like the net result is that people are unmanageable. People are unrulable. We're just unrulable. And the only way that this is going to uh, get fixed 
is with an immense amount of cruelty. And um, mm -hmm. monarchs are good at cruelty, right? They are. I mean, that's, you know, without well, the, no, actually, you monarchs know. are not good at cruelty. Authoritarian Republican leaders are. I mean, people who lead republics, sort of Machiavellian princes, you know, people who are not traditional monarchs, uh, who usually rule by custom, stuff like traditions. Um, if you're saying we need an authoritarian leader to get us out of this mess, you're absolutely right. I mean, that, that I would not even question. Okay. Uh, so you corrected me now too, gosh. It's you and, yes. and you and Darren know each other, so I get to tease you guys. Right? All right. And uh, so, yeah, you're right. You know, I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. You're right. And it's interesting because the media keeps on calling these uh, people authoritar authoritarian and as though that's a bad thing. And I'm like, no, that's actually kind of what I want. I want somebody to kind of keep <laughs> over, right? Uh, 